Many different factors can interact in the development of lung cancer. First and foremost, harmful substances in the air we breathe contribute to the mucosal cells of the bronchial tubes gradually transforming into cancer cells. The best known risk factor is smoking. However, many other factors also play a role. In this video you will learn which risks you should avoid at all costs, so be sure to watch it to the end and try to avoid these risk factors as much as possible. Number 1. Smoking 90% of all lung cancer cases are attributable to smoking. Cigarette smoke contains many carcinogenic substances. The risk of developing lung cancer is about 20 to 30 times higher for a smoker than for a non-smoker. This risk increases with the number of cigarettes smoked daily and with the duration of smoking. About 1 in 10 smokers will develop lung cancer during their lifetime, on average 30 to 40 years after starting to smoke. And not only that, even passive smokers, have an increased risk of cancer. For them, the risk of lung cancer increases by a factor of 1.3. Number 2. Pollutants The occupational risk of lung cancer is much lower than that of smokers. About 1% of lung cancer cases are caused by inhalation of substances with which the persons concerned have to deal at the workplace. In most cases, asbestos is responsible. This is increasingly found in mines, mills, textile factories and shipyards. Smokers, whose lungs are pre-damaged, are also particularly at risk. The measures for protection in the workplace are accordingly strict and should be observed at all costs. Number 3. Radion In connection with lung cancer, the noble gas radion is a possible risk factor. This is a radioactive gas that can increasingly seep out of the ground in some parts of Germany. When it is inhaled, it decays in the body and releases alpha radiation, which can promote the formation of tumors in the lungs. Number 4. Gene a study was conducted in Sweden to investigate the familial risk of cancer. Here there are indications that the predisposition to lung cancer can be inherited. It has been shown that children of lung cancer patients appear to be more likely to develop lung tumors themselves, but the exact relationships remain unclear. Another possibility is an innate, special sensitivity to harmful influences. Number 5. Environmental Hazards Chemicals in the environment, including arsenic and beryllium, can increase the risk of developing lung cancer. Air pollution, exhaust from diesel engines, power plants and industrial facilities can also contribute to lung cancer. Number 6. Nutrition The extent of the influence of diet on the development of lung cancer has not yet been conclusively clarified. However, test results indicate that sufficient consumption of fruit in particular can protect against lung cancer. However, this protective effect cannot be achieved by vitamin tablets or other dietary supplements. Anyone who eats an unhealthy diet on a permanent basis not only damages their figure, but also increases their risk of lung cancer. Now you know what are probably the biggest risk factors for lung cancer, try to avoid them as much as possible so you can lower your risk of getting lung cancer. Would you like to know 10 reasons why beer is healthy? Then be sure to watch the video that we linked to you here. If you liked the video then I would be really happy about a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any new video.